Yeah, hi folks, this is Martin, and today I have a app review for you, <coughs> and this is the GPS 4Cam Pro. I use this app to track my hikes, my photo walks, and I will show you a little bit of this function from the app and after that how you use the data inside of Lightroom. What I really like about this app is you have different sets you can use. It's a standard, the precise, energy saving, as well as manual. And most of the time I use precise and standard. But if you are running low on battery, you can also use the energy saving. I have another app I use to track my walks, but this app is a little bit better for me for the reason of the battery saving. If I need a little more precise record of this track, or if you are doing wildlife photography, and you really, really want to know where exactly you are, you can use precise and you have 30 seconds. Or you're going for a normal hike and it's not that important to track all the different points, then you can use standard. And it's, you, as you can see here, five minutes. Or if you're running out of power, you can go over to energy saving and save some of your battery power. This is uh, what I really, really like on this app. And after that, you uh, start a new trip. And even if this app is running in the background or if you're going into and choose another mode, it's no problem. You don't have to stop the app. It's just running and you can change all the settings you want to have. Then you can stop your record and after that you have in the trip folder your trips and you can export and send them via mail to your home address and this is what i want to show you how you get from your mail into lightroom and track your photos with this app and the data which is recorded yeah and back at home we have sent the data from the app to our email address and there we can find two different gpx files one with altitudes and one without i always use with altitude because you can just in case if you need the height if you are up in the mountains on bird photography and you need the exact point of your shooting so it's better to have this with the altitudes but in case you also export the data from the app by mail with or without altitudes yeah then back in Lightroom <coughs> you are importing your photos like you know if you're working with Lightroom and after that you go into the map module I already did it. I have the metadata inside of the images, but I'm able to show you how to do. Down at the bottom you have this little icon you can open and you can load a track log. And you have to save the two GPX files from your mail to your hard drive. So after you saved the data, you're going into this load track log, choosing the place where you saved it and you import the GPX data into Lightroom. I already did it and I choose this track log I have here from the app and after that you ha can already see you're walking on the map of Lightroom 
Then you only have to select images and the best is Control A or Command A to select all of your images and then you can choose auto tag all selected photos and Lightroom will detect the position of your photos by the time you created these photos as you can see here so it's important that you synchronize your camera with your smartphone that you have the exact time and Lightroom selects the point on the path by the time of your photo and after that you have something like you can see here all the photos are selected to the track log of the app and again this app is called GPS4Cam Pro this is the one I use and you can zoom into your places where you were on this track log you can choose your photos you can choose photos down here in the on the slider and Lightroom will show you all these points where you shot the photos and I think it's a very very good solution and a very easy solution to track your photo walk and to get the metadata of the GPS into your photos and you can see here in the library model module sorry you have the GPS data the location data you can go into Google Maps if you want to or you go into your Lightroom map it's also powered by Google and you can see your photo walk with all the photos connected to each point of the time yeah and uh, as I mentioned before when I show you the app inside of my iPhone you can choose different settings to get a precise route or a more standard route by five minutes for each point or for the precise 30 seconds it uh, saves you a lot of battery power as I mentioned the other app I use for my trainings and mountain bikings um, it's sucking a lot of power from a battery so it's not that good if you are out for a whole day but this GPS 4 cam app is saving a lot of power it's no problem to have a walk for the whole day and you're still good on power for your battery yeah this was it I hope you like this go and check out the GPS 4 cam Pro app on your iTunes store or on your Android store and give it a try I say thank you to the developer of this app and thanks for watching for your interest see you soon